<laughs> Still works. Good evening, everybody. So, today we're doing a little adventure. I was inspired by Noah <clears throat> to get a little video out. I haven't done one for quite a while. That's because my wife and I bought a house. We moved to a different area and it has been a major remodel and one project after another. So working full time and working on a house in my spare time. Haven't been making videos. So tonight I have a couple hours. I'm, uh, I'm gonna try something that I hope is gonna be easy. So this is a new river that I've been fishing a couple times. Well, I already broke the first rule of making fishing videos and that is to always check your batteries and make sure they're charged before you go fishing. So I haven't charged them for a while. My first one died after about 40 seconds. So we're gonna try this again. Here's what we got going on. I have a ultralight rod. It's an ugly stick light. I've got some fake corn on there and I'm going to try a sliding bobber because I've been down here a few times, fished on the bottom with no luck. So my neighbor told me to try fishing on the top. So I only have it about a, my bobber stops about a one foot above the bobber. We're gonna try fake corn and then we're gonna try some bread. We're gonna see how that works. So let's just jump right in. All right, I also have a scale and a gripper. This is out of my bass fishing stuff, but I wanna weigh any fish that I got. So, and I got a net. Not the biggest net, but I think it'll just be helpful to, I can't really slide them up the bank here, so. I don't know. I guess just just send it. I'm trying to think where to cast it. I see some water moving out there. I think I need a split shot to weight that down a little bit. You know what? I decided I'm gonna go straight for the bread. I've got zero confidence in this fake corn stuff. leave the corn on there just in case but I guess just pack the pack the bread on the hook never really done this before weird don't fall in Guys, I had a bite. I missed it. I guess I'll just put it back out there. Dang, that's the first good bite I've had. Oh. 
Oh. What was that? <clears throat> Man, they're they're hitting it, but they're not like it's going completely underwater. And you guys, I don't think those are carp. I think those are... I saw something flash that time. I don't think carp flash. It's probably a... Pike minnow or something. I wonder if they're... What if they're hitting the piece of corn? Try that. <clears throat> Alright, so we took the fake corn off. Now we're doing straight bread. <sighs> Seeing some water movement. I assume those are carp. But it's kind of hard to pinpoint where to cast. Okay, so we're going to try one more time. I couldn't make it happen last night. Ran out of time. Only caught one bluegill. If I can't get this done this time, it's time to just hang it up. It's September now. There are salmon showing up in the bays and rivers. I should not be spending this much time trying to catch carp. But it's driving me crazy. I've got to figure this out. I want to catch at least one to check it off my list. And I don't know. I brought an extra rod this time. I've got a two rod endorsement. So I got one for the bottom and I got the bobber rod again. Got bread worms and we're gonna see if carp like anise krill so without anything else to say let's do this you guys look at that right there A little bit shallower over there so I'm gonna try the bottom rod over there and then we'll cast the bobber rod around different areas I see two swimming right there. Try to get in front of them without spooking them. One is kind of circling. Come on. Man, they are just not Feeling the bread thing.
There's one, there's one right there. I just... I don't understand. See one out there guys, I'm gonna cast to it. <clears throat> Looks like he's about five feet behind the bobber now. Oh, there's a bite. Doesn't look like a carp bite though. Look like another bluegill. That's something. bass. That's a largemouth. It's the first largemouth I've caught out of here. Seemed to be the most activity on that side, kind of by that snag, but I'm just worried that they're all panfish. I think I got another bass. Nope, we got one of these stupid things. Normally I'd kill these on the Willamette or Columbia, but just throw them back. Bullfrogs are coming out again. Another bluegill. 